Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Godzilla vs. Scylla surprise fold. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Godzilla vs. Scylla folding surprise, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to take my paper, I'm going to line up the corners and give it a nice fold right down the middle. That way it kind of looks like a card. Next, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half one more time, giving it another nice fold. Now, when I open this up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And I like to turn my paper this way so I can open it up for a fun surprise. Now, to start off with this, let's begin with Godzilla over here. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to go down and that's going to come back here in a check mark shape. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to come over and then up here for the eye. I want to take this line and bring it down. And then I'm going to bring a couple more little lines down. Now, starting here, I'm going to leave some space. I'm going to come up. I'm going to bring this line back. Then I'm going to bring this line down. Then I'll bring this line over and down. And this line over. Next, starting here, I'm going to bring this line out and then down. And then I want to make this line come up and back. And I'm going to color this in for the nose. I like to add a little curve line around here. Next, underneath the fold, let's bring this line down and then over. And then let's bring this line down. And we're going to come over to here. Let's curve this line up for the jaw of Godzilla. Then let's bring this line down and in. Down and in. And then down right here. Then let's curve this line down. Now underneath the eye, let's bring this line down and over here. And I'm going to connect this line here. Let's bring another line here. It's going to go down and over. And then one more right there. Now starting here, let's bring a little line. It's going to go up and down, up and down. And then one more up and down and then off here. Now, over here, let's begin making Scylla. So I want to start right here, and I'm going to make a line that's going to go down. And I'm going to bring this back for the top of the eye. Then I'm going to curve this line down and up. I'm going to bring this line over. Then I'm going to bring this line back up here. Next, I'm going to curve this line around, and I'm going to kind of just jump over everything, and I'm going to bring it up to here. Next, I'm going to make a line that's going to come up and down here. Then another one's going to come up, and then down to here. I'm going to make a couple little lines right in front of the eye. Then I'm going to make a few lines right behind the eye. Next, I'm going to make a line come out and then down. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out and then in. And we'll bring that right down here to the fold. Then 
right here I'm gonna bring this line down and over then we're gonna bring this line up for the shell we'll put another little line right over here for some detail now for the tentacles let's begin by drawing a line that's gonna come down here kinda of wavy And then we're just going to bring this right back up here. Kind of bring it all the way to the fold. We'll do another one here, just kind of make it wavy. And then bring it up. We'll make another over here. And I'm just trying to make these a little bit different, like making them all kind of go different directions. And then we'll do one more over here next I'm gonna bring this line down and over to here then I'll make a couple little lines right here and then right here I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come down and that's gonna go straight down we'll do that same thing here for one of the legs and we'll make a couple little lines in here for some detail. And we'll just kind of curve this line over here for the body. Now our next step is to open this up and draw the inside. Now once we have this opened up, we have two halves of our Godzilla and Scylla. So let's first start off with Godzilla. I'm going to bring this line down past the fold. Then I'm going to bring this line over, down a little bit, and then back up here. Next, I'm going to bring this line up. I'm going to bring this over and up here. And then I'm going to bring this line right to here. Next, I'm going to curve this line down and put a few more little curved lines in here. Now let's add the teeth. I'm gonna begin by making just some sharp teeth. I kinda of like to make these different sizes inside the mouth. And then same thing here, just do some sharp teeth and just kinda of make them different sizes. Next, for the tongue, let's draw a line that's going to come down and then up. And let's curve this back down here. Now, starting here, I want to make his blast coming out of here. So I'm going to draw a line that's going to come all the way over to here. And then let's make another one. I'm going to start out small, and I'm going to make this get a little bit bigger as it comes over here. Then I'm going to start making some big kind of pointed lines here. And then same thing here, just some big kind of pointed lines. Now, let's start up here. So the first thing, we want to make this look like Scylla just got blasted into two. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to bring this line down, and I'm going to curve this line around, and then just bring it back up here, but don't go above the fold. I'll do another one here that's just going to come around, and then it's going to come back up here. And then we'll do one more. It's going to come down, and then back here. Then we're just going to make kind of like a wavy line underneath here. And I like to add just a couple little curved lines in some different spots. Now up here, I'm going to bring this line up. And then I'm going to make some more of those kind of wavy lines all the way to here. And then I'm just going to add a couple little extra curve lines and some spots here. 
And there you go, there is your drawing of Godzilla versus Scylla. So when we have it all folded up, they are doing a stare down of each other. And when they open it, you can see that Godzilla is defeating Scylla very, very easily. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.